garden uh, early March and as you can see these uh, classes are out already it's quite surprising and we go on to other parts of the garden plant. interesting little plant here um, it's uh, obviously a seedling and uh, one of our seedlings and it appears to be a cross between a primrose and a oxlip so it's um, probably our own breed this one because it's a rather larger than the oxlip and semi double I think as well there so and there's another lovely little primrose here so wonderful and here's an interesting um, daisy which keeps coming up in the garden beautiful over here lovely pink primrose well looky here isn't this beautiful the uh, tulip cough maniana coming out around the base here this would be lovely they're beautiful aren't they yep they certainly are there's one of our prides and joys look at that that is a uh, rather rare Jack in the Green primrose where the calyx becomes leaves behind the flower looks like a little rough and the Victorians uh, the Elizabethans I mean love that so that's been around a long time since Elizabethan times my favourite flowers wild primroses they look very wild to me but, they are. <laughs> but I think they're lovely just sort of growing scattered around yeah there's a, a nice bright red one one of our seedlings, another wild primrose there, and uh, over here is some crocuses, looks like they're just finishing, so we just there, and up here is a snow flake as opposed to a snow drop, just beginning to flower, and then we cast our mind over here, and we find some more Miniature daffodils, they're beautiful, aren't they? Yeah, it, looks, it certainly looks like it's going to be a, a good year though for primroses. Got them coming up everywhere here. Look at that. Everywhere you look. And of course, the moss in the grass, a lot of purists. Oh, well, do I have moss in the grass? I think it adds to it the charm of like a fairy tale. Here's yeah, some oxen crosses coming up here, and look at that, little shy little violets coming up as well. Mm -hmm. 